from Technomancer, and this is a tutorial about the paths in Crossroads. So, in Cro oops, uh, in Crossroads, the late game is divided into things called paths. This is where the mod gets its name. A crossroads is where multiple paths meet. So, what is a path? Well, once you get past the early and mid game stuff of gears and heat and beams, uh, there's a few different things you can do. You can go into either Alchemy, which has a certain set of machines and items, or you can go into Technomancy, which is a completely separate set. So, basically, you get to choose what is the mod from this point forward, and there's two different options. You can play Alchemy Crossroads or Technomancy Crossroads. If you're in single player, by default, you can do both of them. If you're in multiplayer, by default you can only do one. Once you pick either Technomancy or Alchemy, you're locked out of the other one. So, try and choose carefully. Uh, this is all configurable and can be changed, obviously. Um, before you can unlock a path, you need to have unlocked every beam alignment. If you don't know what that means, the video on beams would be helpful. But you need to have unlocked every single beam alignment before you're allowed to pick a path. Now you unlock a path by going in this machine called a Detailed Crafting. Uh, this is quite an important machine because it's how you craft everything from, a, from Technomancy and Alchemy. There's cheaper recipes once you've unlocked a path, but until then you need the more expensive version. And you go in this UI and you'll see it looks like a normal crafting table, except we've got these special icons. So if we want to craft, for example, an Alchemy recipe, Let's look at any any alchemy recipe, uh, which we can all see in JI. Sure, uh, this one, three crystal in a, in a line. We're going to see immediately that this recipe doesn't work. It's a detailed crafting recipe and it's not working. And the reason is, is that this recipe requires this little alchemy icon to be lit. This recipe requires me to have unlocked alchemy, and I haven't. You can see my alchemy icon is not lit up there. So, in order to unlock alchemy, it's quite simple. Let's assume I've decided I want alchemy. Let's look in here for the recipe for the alchemy sigil. This recipe in the detailed crafter will unlock alchemy for me. So, eight, gem, eight of any gem surrounding a bottle or potion. So, we're just going to do that. And as you can see in the top right, I've now unlocked Alchemy, and it says New Chapters Unlocked in the guidebook. If I go in the guidebook, there is a new chapter here called Alchemy. This one's locked and is Technomancy, because, and I can't see it until I unlock Technomancy. But we've got all the Alchemy documentation. Now, if I try to do that recipe, it works fine. This is, by the way, unlocked on your character, on your player, not on the crafter. So if I make another crafter over here, it's unlocked on this one too. Now, there is, on top of Technomancy and Alchemy, you can see this third icon here. That third icon is Witchcraft. Witchcraft is a work in progress feature. You cannot unlock it, and it currently has no blocks or items whatsoever. However, pack makers can decide to make witchcraft unlockable and can make recipes require witchcraft. So if pack makers want to take advantage of there being a basically an empty third path, they can do that. But right now, witchcraft has no content by default, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, there's also these sigils themselves. If I try and craft a sigil, now that I have alchemy unlocked, if I try and craft an alchemy sigil again, because it is an actual item, I will actually get the sigil itself. Now what these sigils do is they're a way to share, they're just a convenient way to share um, a path in multiplayer. So if I'm in multiplayer and I have a friend who hasn't unlocked alchemy and they want to go alchemy, I can make an alchemy sigil, I've unlocked alchemy, I can give it to them, and they can just right click it on the ground and it said, well, it says for me, I already know the path, I can't use it. It'll consume the sigil and unlock alchemy. And they won't need to discover beams or anything, they can just instantly get alchemy. This is also handy if you, you're just in creative and you just want to say unlock alchemy instantly. You can just type in alchemy, get a sigil, right click it, and you're good to go. 
There's a config option, which is off by default, which I've enabled for the purpose of this tutorial, where if you shift right click with the sigil, it forgets a path so that you can change path. Uh, Technomancy is unlocked similarly, but it's some sort of any sort of gear in the middle. And it's that simple. Um, now I'm going to give you a quick overview of what alchemy and technomancy are actually about uh, so that you don't have to watch all of the content videos on both of those paths to, to make a decision. So if you just so if you're just so in, in single player you can do them all by default. Um, but if you're in an environment where you can only do one like multi like multiplayer like a server where pe players are meant to work together to complete all the paths, um, then it's helpful to just know what they're about. So they're very different gameplay-wise. Alchemy is a lot of, micro of, of long, elaborate crafting and difficult to make things. Unlike the most of Crossroads, where it's a simple recipe to make things, like a water centrifuge, you just craft a water centrifuge, and all the balance is really in how you use the machine. With Alchemy, it's going to take you a long time to craft anything that's actually useful. Like, you need a lot of infrastructure built up before you can get pretty much anything out of Alchemy. But once you have the infrastructure, it's not too hard. Um, however, the stuff in Alchemy, while it has a long lead-up time, is very, very powerful once you get it. It's very much themed around chemistry, so you use things that are basically chemical reactions and glassware and whole laboratory setups to try and produce various special materials that do special things. And things in alchemy let you do things like tamper with gravity, as I've got here. Uh, sort of reminiscent of Portal over here, <laughs> not exactly. Um, or, for example, they let you... What's in this bottle? This is... This is the wrong bottle. I wanted the other one. Yeah, they let you do things like terraform over an area. So... This is all. Uh, this is changing the world from a desert biome to a snow biome, and actually will change blocks in the world. And you can use this to terraform a huge area very quickly. Uh, it lets you make things like, if I. Why do I not have? Uh, oh, it's over here. It lets you make things like chemical weapons, uh, though we shouldn't refer to them as that. As very toxic chemicals that can be very, very nasty to people who aren't in creative mode. <laughs> and can be used to kill mobs or in PvP if you feel like it. Uh, Alchemy has all sorts of stuff. Um, all sorts of wacky and wonderful devices. Uh, often they're quite powerful. It also lets you manufacture materials that you normally can't. Like with Alchemy, you can automatically produce diamonds. There's a crafting chain, it's quite long and complicated, that lets you make diamonds. Or any other precious gem, or metals. So if you want to mass produce massive amounts of iron and gold and rubies using basically only water and salt and stuff like that, just automatically, you can with alchemy, but it's not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> It's a big lead-up with a lot of infrastructure you have to build to, with chemical glassware. Um, alchemy is also generally the safer option of the two, of alchemy and technomancy. A lot of people really, really like alchemy, and a lot of people really, really hate alchemy. Uh, in some respects, it's sort of like Marmite. You either love it or hate it. Uh, some people really cannot stand the massive amount of like crafting chains. Other people really like that it's kind of more straightforward in what you have to do, and like working with the with trying to do filtration and reactions and trying to keep everything safe and, and efficient. So, if you don't like alchemy, there is technomancy. Technomancy is very very different. Unlike alchemy, where there's long crafting chains, but it's fairly safe, and it's fairly powerful at the end, and it takes a long time to get stuff, to get the infrastructure you need. Technomancy, you get basically all the cool stuff immediately, but it's all very, very dangerous. If you mess up with technomancy, there are consequences. Real nasty ones. 
Um, unlike with alchemy, where you can pretty much always do things in a safe way, if I, for example, force something bad to happen just artificially, technomancy can be absolutely devastating. So if I just do this, you're going to see me forcibly cause a few examples of things that can go wrong if you use technomancy incorrectly. So you can see giant explosions, um, uh, things that are turning everything to like cobblestone and smooth stone, all a wide variety of effects. There's things that kill anything nearby and, and other such things. And imagine all that happens in the middle of your base and near all your infrastructure because you set something up wrong. So uh, technomancy, very powerful. You get all the cool stuff immediately, but high risk, high reward. Mess it up and you won't have a base for very much longer. Uh, there are obviously configs to make this entirely safe if that's too scary for you. Um, so again, if you're interested in going into technomancy, you might want to take a look at those options. Uh, but the stuff you get in technomancy, uh, while well, alchemy is themed more around chemistry and manufacturing strange and powerful materials, technomancy is about manipulating time primarily and messing with energy with with high power with power sources. Uh, so this entire setup I've been staring around at and sort of hovering around is a is a technomancy setup even though there's a lot of beam stuff going on. There's this thing which is... You'll have to watch the technomancy video to understand what the heck this thing is. But it's basically the beam equivalent of a nuclear reactor. I could break one block and we... and, and, and destroy this entire thing in a disaster here. Uh, it is, however, producing a massive amount of beams just coming up the bottom here. Very high power, basically for free. Um, so that's the thing. Time manipulation includes the ability to speed up time in an entire chunk. So if you want to tick accelerate a region or some entities or an entire chunk at once, you can do that. Do you want to uh, have lots of little gadgets? Because Technomancy has a lot of gadgets. This thing I'm holding right now is a beam staff and it lets you and it's basically a device that lets you make arbitrary beams wherever you want to do things I've got my weather sounds off hold on there we go do things in the world with beams and it's very handy there's a lot of gadget personal gadgets in technomancy there's a lot of stuff that lets you speed up time in an area uh, lots of various machines that will either let you make massive amounts of beam power or precisely control things with rotary or really just make you a lot more powerful but with some serious risks if you do it wrong. But it's also got a much flatter progression than alchemy in that you don't need to spend ages like working your way up producing the philosopher's stone and distilling quicksilver and everything else before you get all the cool stuff. So those are the two paths. Um, you can, you can again, if you're in single player, you can do both of them at once. Let me re-unlock Alchemy. Uh, and everything is highly configurable. I don't really talk about config options very much in these tutorials. There are enormous, an enormous number of config options in the mod, but I want to point this out in the paths because paths are where things get really scary and powerful and destructive and impactful and if anything spooks you you can turn it off or turn it down uh, or if you're an absolute lunatic you can turn up the destruct you can turn the destructiveness up in some cases don't do that on a server good grief if you're running a public server don't like set it to Armageddon mode <laughs> there's nothing called Armageddon mode but you know. Um, Alright, so the next set of videos we're going to talk about alchemy and all of the features in it.